Welcome our we're here today to talk about international human rights law and heart was developed we'll talk a little bit of history although please remember that we have a history timeline that will give you a much more detail. Subscribe my channel for more updates. Look at the history of a human rights or don't like to do today as the or that portion of that history or which leads to the important event of World War II and the aftermath of World War II. Which was the time and which international human rights law actually came we recognize throughout the world. This is first of all a survey core or we will not go into detail in any of a number of subjects that will touch on our we could teach a course of for so much course on such objects as a history of human rights or a young. Nuremberg trials and national criminal trials. I look at regional human rights coach and other subjects but I hope up here. As to give you an exposure to the overview of human rights law and how human rights law develop. We'll look at the institutions that are I'm supporting. Human rights the lead to development and intuition implementation. We'll look at the way that the principles of human rights have been determined. And look at the crafting of human rights treaties of the United Nations and regional tradition which become in my judgment extremely important. And overall we'll look not of the development of principles. What how those principles are plot and brackish higher you achieve accountability for our human rights violations. I'm if we go back and look at the history of a human rights record look at a large number of issues and as I've said all that could take on our for semester we won't take the fall semester just looking at the history but best begin to think about some of the major events. In early history of human rights or SARS a great was recognized as a person who began to think about human rights away way he treated captives in battle he did not a slave the not massacre the people who had captured but he set them free he also had great tolerance for the you at various religions in his area and he even allowed or jewish population to return to persia show he was one of the earn a significant figures there was a roman our concept of customary law romans or look at what laws were generally recognized by all nations and in that began to develop all the idea all that we could look at this body of customary international law and that concept is still with us today as you'll see. For the lecture, or very frequently you hear people talking about human rights and want to go back to 1215 the time that the Burns are forced Magna Carta of from King John. Actually there are many Magna Carta. Are our King John himself issue more than one and in subsequent monarchies there were other Adiner Carters. They also should say about the Nina Car that it is a very important document but it did not contain things with frank frankly yeah frequent give credit for it did not establish the right to trial by jury it did had language which all my overtime lead to what we now recognized as a right to trial by jury and it did recognize due process those concepts have been further developed as wrong fork british or developed human rights really quite well and i'll pull to have some other more important documents from british history and a petition of right in 1628 a document are signed by Charles I at the beginning of reign. I think that's significant and the author Jeffrey Robinson thanks that significant because you will remember that charged first I conducted war against his own people. I violated the British and right repeatedly I ultimately on bars are executed. After a trial before parliament. On that trial occurred in 1649. R. Again Jeffrey Roberson places that is a very important event because you now have a monarch who agreed to the petitioner right. And who now I conducts war on his own people. Are you guilty of a number of human rights violations in the process and now ah. And hours of instance when a king is normally held accountable. And forced to take a position as was King John with Magna Carta or transfers we actually have a king who is. I was executed. After a trial before parliament. And 1851 shortly thereafter Thomas Hobbes wrote about the consent of the people as a basis for governance. I'm in 1679 very important habeas corpus stature were talk about habeas quite a bit in his course I'm 1680 was a glorious revolution again parliament decides who's going to be the monarch and in that decision we get a year a bill of rights. Adopted I along with her decision to to a place where you him and marry on the throne. John Locke wrote a note on they don't some 17th century and his works have become very important. During the course of our discussion about the development of human rights pretty important in the development of the American Constitution. And then we ought to mention a decision in the 18th century and his Lord Mansfield decision in Somerset. That Somerset decision is frequently cited as a decision in which a court found that slavery. I was illegal and hanged them that actual holding of case said that a person who was being held as of slave was entitled to seek habeas corpus they get relief from slayer slavery. 
Irish but a number of slaves continued at anything on and of course pay a number the British colonies. I continued to practice slavery building on these British R principles. We get the Declaration of Independence. Burr Thomas Jefferson greatly influenced Locke and Bothers craft the Declaration of Independence. Look at that document. Vicky what that document is it is a statement to the wall about the abuses awe of King George III and his government that it, it is. A national a brief it be explaining the reasons that they American colonies are entitled to revoke from in. But if you look through those grievances listed by Thomas Jefferson I think you'll find that a very large number of those grievances are actually human rights violations. A a failure to give fair trials to failure to allow our British soldiers or been guilty of a wrongdoing to be prosecuted. O failure to allow local common term function and I have representative government to make decisions on the use of Indians or to conduct warfare that wish against the rule of a warfare and civilized nations again this litany. Of of abuses of human rights and very much at the heart of the declaration of an, an appendage and after the or after a revolutionary war of course automatic the constitution. Oh and opted in 1789 it does the as constitution original constitution does not include. A comprehensive list of, of human rights it does make provision for habeas saying that a writ of habeas corpus may not be suspended accepted in time of insurrection or invasion oh and that I read again. Has been very important throughout the history of human rights of internationally and in the United States. In 1718 and we also had a French declaration of rights show ran in solution I believe that document players or was crafted in now large part by Lafayette ah but he had great help from Thomas Jefferson who was the ambassador to France during this period of. In show in 1718 a United States gets its constitution the French get their declaration of. Rights and man. In 1791 as get such bill of rights and the French get a new constitution. All those documents are really significant documents. On. Of course I'm not a 19th century. On the slave trade which abolished. Anger Britain and in the United States. The slavery was abolished in 1833 in the United Kingdom. I'm 1861 Alexander II of Russia on a abolished serfdom. Affecting a larger number of people than with the abolition of slavery and United States. And of course the Great Civil War in United States 1861 dating 65 and 1863 two things happen. One a Lincolner issued his Emancipation Proclamation o which are ultimately led to the adoption of the 13th Amendment a but a was a very important step in the prosecution of the war. That same year, Lincoln had a Columbia Law School professor Francis Labor. R. Craft a code about a proper way to treat a prisoner of war people who were taken into custody in the labor code or 1863 or actually uh, I came and born in the development of humanitarian law as we see that development. In the future, 1863, earlier Red Cross was also organized or talk about that. Again in 1865 in United States we have the adoption. I have a 13th amendment. The 20th century. We've seen a number number of events that were got to think about in terms of the history of over. The human rights law international human rights are. The prosecution of there are many a Turkish authorities continued forward of in the beginning of a century where project or during the war year 1915 when Turkey allied with Germany. O conducted or ethnic cleansing of there are many in population or using a rationale there's very familiar to us in modern times and that is the Armenians are so close to the bar or with Turkey. And that there are they had relatives or are across the border and therefore they threatened fish and and threatened to be a young man. On a tagged under by Turkish authorities of in 1919 we had a pastry that ended a World War I it produced very low in terms of international human rights law it did produce a young international labor organization which exists to this day. And that our organization looks at labor practices of however our are human beings being treated in the labor market and on again a number of ILO initiatives have served her improve our human rights shimmer they can. Comic social and cultural area. Oh they are treaty of Versailles also shut up rules for the way the colonies could be administered I had rules relating to trust territories that you could not abuse minorities and those trust her tours or be subject to you and matter to I'm I'm sanctions. Not the League of Nations on. There were attempts treaty of Versailles to run. A punish a German officials are alleged to have trusted during or one and they autumn my came to nothing. Following the war by saw a great expansion in voting rights for women throughout the world. Actually that moment have begun back in the late 19th century but the harm began. Pouring life for women. And right a woman to hold office greatly expanded following or one. We now get to World War II and his aftermath. 
This is the period of time in which human rights really developed as a body of law. On before all we have World War II and the event following World War II. We talk about international law, but no one is teaching or talking about international human rights law. And aid, what we're talking about was a body of law that govern relationships or between nations and is broken down into two categories. Our public international law deals with laws are on such things as treaties, consular relationship and so forth of former public and then private international law or deals with trade and international commerce. How what happened following World War II is I believe some magic. We have the orange international law. I wish separate page to watch and put him to new or I now talk about international human rights law. And we're talking about something that is really quite different, a very different legal concha. Virtually all of international law depended on the concept of sovereign right. Nations are a chevron they had the right. Do or anything. But that they have the power to effectuate within their own territory and show there were supreme nations where a supreme and job or body of law was. I am a body of law that rode into relationships between nations. I now like for us to think about World War II and focus for a moment. On the Nuremberg trials, that is recall call our International Criminal Tribunal was conducted both in Germany and Nuremberg and in Tokyo following World War II were particularly useful for our analysis or the Nuremberg trials on. The Nuremberg trials a number the defendants and Turing Hermann Goring put for the defense that laws discriminating against Jews are legal because Germany had the authority over shown shortage it had shove hundred and because it adds arbitrary or a given legally do anything it wanted to do as it related to have shown shutters much. Oh oh what we want or look at is how international human rights law has a different focus from international law if we believe that all nations are all powerful. Hermann Goring had a plausible argument. But when international law requires respect for human beings, the Nazi discrimination and persecution is simply illegal. So under human rights law right trump shower drain if a person has a right to free speech. Then even if a person speaks against the interests of the authorities they may not be punished look at us. Our Bill of Rights Article 1 of Congress shall make no law regarding free speech. I'm equal rights mange at that stage may not discriminate. Equal rights and human rights mange that would not get the to torture people get information so there are limits on what nations can do. Now we look at human rights as going leaders to a look at coach because Leifheimer we look at a regime like the Nazi regime in Germany we find that their coach are totally compromised I coached or the not enforce any right. Oh Germany operated during that period of time under what was called off your principle it is whatever him or said was a law was a law and the coach Roy operated under Hitler and under Hitler's hellish control and the way that other institutions did. I'm so over. Implementation of human rights involves the development of institutions to enforce are the rights are declared shall we have treaties but how do you get are these treaties really into human rights enforced them or what we'll see in our study is it we have. Regular human rights coach. Ohio. And, in the criminal law we have International Criminal Court beginning of course where you Amberg and Tokyo but repeating in a modern times with additional coach. I now want to talk about some categories of human rights AI placed into two categories. Civil and political rights and they are often referred to as first generation right. Right to vote free speech to process equality. No cool treatment or torture on privacy. Those are referred to as civil and political rights and the second category right or economic social and cultural right. Right to food right to housing, right to healthcare and education. And you'll see in the history there we'll look at shortly. After the development of an universal declaration of human rights we then have two major treaties that developed one an area of civil and political rights and one in their area of economic social and cultural rights and never had a large impact. They're also a possible to talk about third generation like a third generation right or things such as the right. After clean air right to develop your own resources third generation right or essentially collective right I belong to all of us and cannot be enforced without or some resort to the what happens to all of society. They also to pause and separate. As least for now. The very idea of human rights law and humanitarian law. Oh. Or to make the point that that separation oh does not hold up. Whether the with the passage of time but will be him out with the idea that there should be laws of war. That even more time the way that we treat combatants ah and non-combatants ought to be subject to some examination. And, my position is that there's been a steady integration of these two bodies of law. A. 
Development of a year. Law of war is of said might be traced back to Lincolnshire our appointment are of Rash's neighbor who developed the labor code or for the United States sorry but there are a larger development occurred when Henry you're not I switched the Swiss miss. Snitch ma'am this that are battlefield in 1859 and observed a number of wounded people not being cared for ah he actually took your feel himself recursion others the come and help me try to provide water in an uncomfortable people on a battlefield. But. As follow up of this a more important historically because he's the person who led the moment to create the International Committee of the Red Cross which has done so much to alleviate suffering of people in times of conflict. Out there are burn around. Flash forward and historian or points out that. Although the law was a war and human rights law have different backgrounds and different roots are they now both center on the punching of humanity which is a common denominator of both systems. I've now like to go pack one heart fat you remember. Could you remember it becomes offering bar. As a waiter to sum up what happened in World War II on. Recall that our allies conducted trials including the first international criminal proceedings. And Tokyo and Nuremberg. Are there also or domestic or tribunals or tribunals conducted in Germany? I've none in Japan. Or a number of us tribunals are trying on the edge or war crimes are in Russian ship French Australians and others conducted on. War crimes trials but the important ones proper process are Nuremberg and Tokyo. On now would like to examine. A little of the cross examination Herman Goring. I had hers examined by justice. Robert Jackson or the a Supreme Court who is the lead as prosecutor and now and then you remember. Trials and I have a segment of that have had trauma that crush a German cross examination that I like theater can share. Chief prosecutor witchcraft Barry. And upon hiring to power. You immediately abolished parliamentary government in Germany he vanished. We found it to be no longer necessary. Also I should like to emphasize the fact that we were moreover the strongest parliamentary party and had the majority. But you are correct when you say that parliamentary procedure was done away with because the various parties were disbanded and forbidden. Now, going, admitting admitted to a shining the Nuremberg no she said that he was responsible for them and he spoke at the can that Nuremberg laws are. Adopted of the reasons for his lungs. And arm and he said. God created the Russians he did not want equality. And we therefore emphatically reject any attempt to use any means in order to adulterate the purity the races and a turn it into equality. So if we saw from the cross examination by Jackson. Going and launching a party did not believe in the our participation high everyone in government they outlawed all parties except a Nazi party and wish that there was no fundamental belief in a bunch of all the quality and so as we turn to they implement a. One of international human rights law are going to see the traces of these German positions on the develop on a wrong. I might should make the point that a year. And now, your laws are doctor the 1935 are not the beginning of the persecution and of the Jews in Germany and persecution began almost immediately on Hitler coming to power your head. Cause adopted in 1933 removing the Jews from but from government it. Choose were not allowed to be large the limit a number of Jewish search and coach. Ah, as the law on editor which span Jewish from an editorial post. And again, our period of time moving up to the time of establishing the caution caution camps there are a steady. Our loss of a, right by German citizens who are Jewish are created quite a remarkable fact considering that a number of these people who actually are veterans over. One German decorated German veterans from World War One. But the 1935 law stricker their Nuremberg laws show that mergers between Jews and Christians of German or country blood are forbidden. Extramarital sexual intercourse between Jews and other subjects. As for them, years were not allowed to employ female services under the age of 35. Our Germans of can read blood as domestic workers. Germans. Jews were forbidden display the rice and national flag and national coverage. On the other hand the laws allow them to display Jewish college. Something that ocean Jewish citizens probably did not want to do when she understood the young implications of their being identified as Jewish. Now, to wind up their portion I'd really like to go back and think about the fact that in World War II. There are some clarity. Monitor what was involved and they and the contract and that charity was given to us by Shovel later show were able to articulate why we're at war. That articulation actually began before the United States and. The war of Franklin Roosevelt and early 1941 gave his famous speech. About the for principle freedom mean the supremacy of human right every way. Ah supper. Whoa 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 whoa. Good game though right and keep them our Frank. 
If I you know they are perfect. That high concept. What can be known? Hey Rick. Principles. Oh that he thought sure God of all of us who should conduct with international relations he thought that we should be able to establish internationally. On the idea that we are free. I'm from want and free from fear. And that we have the freedom of belief the freedom of expression. China loafers dig for freedom. On there are probably derived and barbed from reading or the other people or the authors are writing at that time but we're going to say that these for for him. Have on during life. We were seen him articulated. Actually director and the Universal Declaration of Human Rights in a doggy in 1948. And all that later in 1941. We have a adoption the Atlantic Charter. Well I'm Muslim church or. And Franklin Roosevelt come together to announce a principle said that ought to govern the conflict there was already. Going on with Germany having invaded Poland in 1939 we now have before the United States gets involved and or. Our articulation about what principle should apply following the war and I'm and look where she the reputation of our. Roosevelt's for freedom of speech. One of the pressure was is. That they would work together to establish freedom from fear and want. I'm I am. An ashtray and borders of self-determination has the right of all people. On. Agreed to seek no territorial gains. An announcer territorial adjustments should consider the effects on of of affected people. Some of this is pretty as extraordinary where you think about it historical context. Think about the fact that have. Britain still had large territory. On. India. Ah the not get as independent until 1947 and show now in 1941 you have a British and Americans agree that was a right to self-determination bald people and that we should recognize. Well wishers affected people in making territorial adjustments so released documents are important documents there are not. Innocence the documents that are, are gonna consume. All of our time in this course because. Ah those documents are the universal declaration. The regional treaties. The up paid to establishment of human rights course the untreaty each other establish large principles and our establishment of coach to bring about a year for filming of these on. Of these principles. So without interruption on the show the I look forward to a discussion of, of the development of a high nations and the development of the universal declaration of human right which will take up accession.